Jacqueline Ritchie, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to install a White Lightning Flex Fuel Conversion System. I'll be working on this 2002 Volvo S60 Turbo, and I'll be converting this so that it can run on gasoline, ethanol, or any combination of the two. Let's get going. The installation process is incredibly simple. It's only three steps and can be done in a matter of minutes. First, you need to disconnect the fuel injectors in your vehicle. Then, with the white lightning connectors, plug them in, create a circuit. And finally, via the eyelet, you ground your wire. Basically, I will be unplugging the car's fuel injectors and replacing them with the white lightning female connectors. I will then attach the male connectors on the white lightning unit to the female connector on the car's fuel injection system. You just move down the line and repeat. This particular Volvo is a bit unusual as it's a five cylinder, but the install is really no different from a four, six, or eight cylinder car. As you can see, the white lightning system is more or less a plug and play device. Last one, and there we go, all five. Why use ethanol at all? Because it's more powerful, it's cleaner, and it helps your engine last for longer. But my personal favorite reason for using ethanol is because it's environmentally friendly. The cities and the states that have adopted the use of ethanol, they have considerably cleaner air. Lastly, I will secure the ground wire to the engine. I've secured the box in a safe location. Voila, and the installation is complete. So now this vehicle will be able to run on ethanol, gasoline, or any blended combination of the two. You now have a flex fuel vehicle. Ethanol is rapidly becoming more and more available in the U.S. and throughout the world. And as new technologies are being introduced, ethanol is becoming a more environmentally friendly and cost-effective fuel.